long it is, oh, is it your misfortune and not my own? Yippee-ki-yay, I oh, get along, you little doggies. You know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Lightning Jim and Whitey have stayed overnight at Beeville, a small cattle town en route to Fort Anderson. And early in the morning have decided to pay a friendly visit to the sheriff before pulling out. As they near the sheriff's office, the door is suddenly opened and the sheriff dashes out. Hey, morning, sheriff. Where are you off to in such a rush? <laughs> Lightning Jim, Whitey, you're just in time for some excitement. Yeah? The telegraph operator just brung me a message. Prince Charlie's headed this way. Prince, surely. The gentleman bandit, what's he done this time? Held up another stagecoach? Nope. It seems like he rode into Lost Creek last night. His horse was plumb winded. Yeah. He tried to dick her for another horse. I see. Somebody recognized him and he shot his way out. You he wind wounded a couple of men, but grabbed a fresh horse and lit out this way. Well, he's sure got nerve. Can't help but admire that, Jim. Well, I sure admire to get part of the reward money on his head. I'm rounding up a posse right now. Hey, get your horses and come on. What do you say, Whitey? Shall we go along and help out? No, no, Lightning. That's the sheriff's shop. Let him do hey, it. Whitey, what's the matter with you? Uh, well, Lightning, sometimes working for a lawyer and see. I don't know what to do, but I think I got to do something. About see. what? What you got to do something about? Well, uh, about Prince Charlie. I got to help him. Got to help Prince Charlie? Say, Whitey, are you going loco? He's one of the worst bandits in the country. Been operating a lone hand for years now. Hey, Lightning, remember three years ago when I was all stood up in an owl and he was sick in bed for a month? Sure, I remember. Well, I never told nobody the real story, but there was Prince Shirley that saved me. What do you mean, Waddy? Well, when the landslide come, they come so sudden like I didn't have a shed. Me and my horse, we both went on. There I was pinned down by the rock, and the horse was pinned down too. Both of his hind legs was I could only get my gun and put you out to your mystery. But I can't lift a finger. I guess you're done for, old fella. Yeah, I think I hear somebody. Help! Help over here! Help and court! I see you, all right. Hold on. I'll be there as soon as I can. Look out for this loose rock and dirt. Uh, thanks for the tip. I'll come the rest of the way on foot. Might be safer that way. Now, how long have you been here? Oh, about the hour, I reckon. Seems like a year. Uh, I reckon it does. Uh, your horse is still up pretty bad. Want me to put him out of his misery? Oh, please. I couldn't get my gun. Thank you, stranger. That was pretty bad. I couldn't do nothing for I'll me. have you out of here in a minute. <whistles> oh, you got half the side of the mountain on you now. Uh, you take it easy now. Don't try to move. You let me do the moving. Uh, there. Uh, there's one of them out here. I guess they're uh, all in. Uh, uh, say, now uh, that badge on your coat. You're a United States Marshal. You're Deputy Marshal. Well, <laughs> ain't that a joke? Me helping the law out. Yeah, what might your name be, stranger? Uh, don't you recognize this face? Well, I, I can't see so good. See? Hey, hey, you're Prince Shorty. Uh, I thought you'd recognize me. My face is on a lot of posters. Prince Shirley, I'm putting you under arrest. You are my prisoner. <laughs> well, well now, ain't that a laugh? Now look, Marshal, I call the place from now on. You are, I guess you're right. And what you going to do with me? I got three choices. I could put a bullet through your head like I done to your horse there. And then I could just go on about my business and leave you here. I couldn't let a skunk suffer that away. So I'll have to do the third thing, I reckon. You'll watch that. Get you to a doctor somehow. Uh, well, I see. You can't ride into town. 
If somebody recognize you, you'd be putting your head into a trap. No, it's been in traps before. I'll take that chance. Now, hold on, I'll, I'll get this other rock off you. I'm putting you under arrest, then surely. I got to do it. <laughs> sure, you go ahead and arrest me all you want to. You go right ahead. You're sure a game little rooster trying to arrest me. <laughs> and he brought you in, Whitey? Yo, he got me out from under them rocks, put me on his own horse, and, and then, well, I guess I fainted. The doctor told me later that somebody put me on his doorstep and rapped on the door, but he didn't see nobody. And that's the man who's riding into the sheriff's net right now. Lightning Prince surely saved my life. I, I wouldn't be here now if he hadn't got me to the doctor. Lightning, don't you see? I got to help him. I got to do something. Why do you can't buck the law? Prince Jolly's got to take his own but chances. But I owe him a debt. I got to pay that debt back somehow. Well, maybe they won't get him, Whitey. Not this time. But the sheriff and his posse did capture Prince Charlie and brought him in and lodged him in the county jail. Whitey and Lightning Jim have secured permission to talk with him. And as they come close to the cell... Sheriff! You gotta let me out of here. Just for a couple of weeks. I'll come back. I promise and... Hey, you ain't the sheriff. Say, hey, I've seen you someplace before. Uh, well, don't you remember Prince Charlie? I'm the deputy marshal you dug out from under the rocks three years ago. Huh? Well, sure enough. <laughs> Why, well, you arrested me then and couldn't make it stick. But you got me dead to rights now. Prince Shorty, you saved my life then. I'll do anything for you. Anything. Then get me out of here now. I gotta get out just for a little while. Yeah, well, I can't do that. I can't. Uh, Lightning, you tell him why I can't. I know how Whitey Jeff feels, Prince Charlie. Told me what you did for him, but he's a lawman too, and he can't help you. Oh, I reckon he can. <laughs> funny, funny, I tell you. As long as I rode the old the owl hoot trail, I never got caught. But the first time I try to do something decent, I, I get put behind bars. Something decent? Well, maybe we can do something for you after all. How about telling us just what you was up to? Telling you? Yeah. No, that wouldn't do no good. But say, say, it might at that. At least it can't hurt none. Well, Dent, here's the story. I got a letter from my old man, Zeke Sandow, and he needs help bad. Several days later, on the porch of the Sandow Ranch, a hundred miles away, old Zeke Sandow and Stumpy Briggs, his cook, are talking. Rummages. Rummages. Ain't enough that I got worries waiting me down all the way to China. Now I got to have rheumatism. Quit canniballing around and let me get this skunk grease on you. Skunk grease is powerful good for rheumatism. Yeah, berry grease is better. I've been telling you that all along. Yeah, maybe so, but where in tarnation am I going to get me a bear? There's plenty of skunks around here. Yeah, plenty of skunks, all right. Stop your messing around, Stumpy. Oh, it ain't doing no good. <laughs> Nothing's doing any good. Uh, here we are trying to get enough cattle together to hang on to this ranch and me down with that uh, rheumatism. Yes, and me with just one leg. Oh, I ain't fit to live, I ain't. Can't help none at all. And Zeke, you know I'd give the other leg in a minute if it'd help you. Well, it won't. What in tarnation would I do with your other leg? Mm. Talking like a fool, that's what you be. No, I'm not. Tend to your cooking, isn't it? Uh, we're getting company. Don't that look like, well, like... The horse that lane right? Why, uh, why, it is lane. I'd recognize that vinegaroo just by the smell any day. Hey, lane, you got a nerve of a hog coming over here. Now get off of my place. Get off, you hear me? I still own this spread. Want me to throw him on for you, Zeke? Now you listen to me, both of you. I'm trying to do you a favor, Zeke Sandow. You are too plain stubborn to listen to reason. <laughs> why, why you're, you're trying to get my spread away from me. That's what you're trying to do. I'm willing to buy it. I've offered you a fair price more than once. I need this land for my own cattle. And I told you I weren't selling. I homesteaded this place, stocked my own cattle, built it up from nothing, and I ain't selling. I'll throw them off for you, Zeke. Now, there ain't no use in your getting riled up. Shut up, you one like it has been. Why? Now, Zeke, I know you got to meet that note at the bank by the first. If you don't, you'll lose this land. <laughs> of course you know it. You put pressure on the bank to call in that note. You drove half a dozen ranchers out already. 
But she ain't going to drive me out. And that note is going to be met, Mr. Bad Smellane. <laughs> sure. Sure, you're running up a herd out of season. Figuring on selling them for enough to hold on here. Well, I can sell them all right. Sure you can. <laughs> if you get them to the railroad station. But you got about 62 miles of bad land to get through. Yeah, I've got them through before. If you sell out to me now, I'll give you a fair price. If you don't... And if I don't sell out, Lane, what then? You'll never get those cattle to Ford City. You lose everything. You hear me? Everything. Threatening, are you? Let me at him, Zeke. Why, you yellow-bellied hide of 40 cent feet, I'll teach you to... <laughs> That'll teach you to keep your nose out of my business. He knocks to be down with you. Why, you rabbit-delivered, toad-faced wart. I'm not too old to take you on. Oh, thunder, oh, boy. Like we got you just in time, partner. But I saw that fight didn't look exactly fair to me. Sure, that sure did. And well, maybe we can change the rules a little. Yeah. Well, who in tarnation are you two? Well, I'll throw them all off the place for you, Zeke. I ain't afraid of them. I don't know who you two are or where you come from. But this ain't none of your concern. No? Well, I reckon that's where you're wrong. Who do you think you are? Me? Oh, me and my partner here, we're a couple of new hands. Just now hired on. Well, you're horning in on a losing fight. You better get out while the getting's good. Oh, I reckon we'll stay on here. We kind of like this job. Well, uh, you're asking for it. Come here, get me. Now, now, little boy shouldn't ought to play with guns. and might get hurt. And don't try to pick up that gun I shot out of your hand. <laughs> it's too bad it wasn't your neck. Yeah, now get going. We'll keep your gun. And if you come back looking for it, He'll give you the lead. When I get through with you, you'll be sorry you was ever born. Hey, stop it. Stop it. You all right? Hey, you hurt bad? Me? Oh, of course not. He couldn't hurt me none. And after that bugger knocked me down, I couldn't get up again with his peg leg. Right, give me a hand there, will you? Sure. There you are. Thank you. Now, now, who in the house back are you two hombres? Where'd you come from? Hey, what do you want? Well, you see, we're, uh, we're, we're friends of your son, Mr. Sandow. Oh, Charlie? Friends of Charlie? Yeah. Then he got my letter asking him to come down to help me out. Is he coming? Where is he? Where? Well, well, he couldn't get away right now, Mr. Sandow. He just couldn't get away. So, so he sent us on to help out. Yeah, that's it. He told us you needed cow hands to help get the cattle to Ford City. Well, I don't want to stick in your nose and... Unless you know what you're up against. Why, that weasel-faced, bow-legged wart hawk you the Jew just throwed off of the horses trying to run me out of this country. Well, Why, he's done run six or seven fellas out already. Wants to be a cattle king, does. Mm. And he don't stop at nothing. Sets fire to houses, rustles cattle, poisons water holes. Yeah, but he can't prove nothing. Nobody ever caught him out. He's slick. And now he's bound to start something on the trail to Ford City. Well, how about the rest of you men, Mr. Sandow? Uh, how many you got? Yeah, there's six of them, including Joe, the foreman. But uh, I can't trust none of them. It wouldn't surprise me none if the whole kit and caboodle was working for Lane. <laughs> well, you got yourself two new cow hands, Mr. Sandow, and we ain't working for nobody but you. Hey, yo, uh, you see, we promised Charlie to help you get your cattle across the hills to Ford City, and we are going to do it. There ain't nothing going to stop us. But Lane has circled around the Sandow Ranch and is now talking with Joe, the Sandow Ramrod. You shouldn't have come here, Lane. We get the old man suspicious before he start the drive. He ain't suspicious and he didn't see me. He's up there blabbing to those new hands of his. New hands? He ain't hired nobody that I know of. Well, he just has. Two of them. Now listen, Joe. You got the men all lined up? I'll tend to that when we get moving. Don't worry none about that. Well, it's simple enough. When you get to Deer Canyon, start a stampede and stampede the whole herd over the cliff. Don't nobody know nothing to be able to prove anything. A stampede is likely to happen at any time. But those two new riders you say he's each just hired... We might have trouble with them. Trouble? <laughs> no. You see, it wouldn't be your fault at all if the two new fellas got caught in that stampede. Now, would it? Got caught in a stampede? Yeah. You mean murder? Murder? I don't like that word, Joe. It would be an accident. Just an accident. Nobody could prove nothing else. <laughs> you think of everything, don't you, Lane? <laughs> sure. Just an accident, that's all. 
But Big Santa won't have no more cattle. Two meddlesome cowhands get killed in the rush, and I get the ranch. <laughs> it's sure fire. Nothing can stop us. <laughs> What will happen when Lightning Tim and Whitey try to get Zeke Sandow's cattle to Ford City? Part two of this Lightning Tim adventure follows immediately. And now for part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim. Whitey pays a debt. Early one morning, the drive starts off. On the evening of the third day, the cattle are bedded down about two miles from Deer Canyon. There is no entrance into the canyon from the cattle trail, but only a precipitous cliff down which neither man nor beast could be driven except to death. And Joe, obeying the orders of Lane, completes his plan. Here's a hundred dollars in it for you, sweet. What do you say? Are all the rest of the boys playing with Lane, Joe? Sure. They know which side of the bread is buttered. Old Zeke's a fool for not selling out. Well, ain't we taking a pretty big chance Zeke will tumble to something? How could he? A stampede is like to happen any time. Yeah. Are those two new Jaspers in on the deal? Nah, but I'll take care of them, all right. Well, I I ain't got no call to fight Zeke's battle for him, but I ain't in favor of no bloodshed. <laughs> You and the boys do your part. It won't be hard to get the cattle going. They're tired and uneasy. They'll run at their own shatters. Get your time right? Sure. As soon as the moon shows at the top of that hill there. That's right. I'll be taking care of them two hombres. Just watch for the moon and then get started. You see anything suspicious so far, Lightning? No, everything's proceeding all right so far. But we know Lane's up to something. We've got to keep our eyes peeled every minute. Now, you better go that way, and I'll cover this side. Lightning, there, there were no call for you to come along. This was my job paying off my debt to Prince Shirley. <laughs> sure, it's your job. There was no other demands on my time right at the present, and... Just wanted to come along and share the fun, that's all. Lightning, you are the rightest man that ever lived. Someday, maybe I come can Come on, show you. Thunder. Better get to work, cowpuncher. Ride herd and don't be talking so much. Adios, Whitey. Adios, Lightning. Steady, Thunder. Steady, boy. Whoa, hey, we ain't going to no fire, even if you'd like to. Now, listen, now. I ain't trying to make a cow pony out of you, honest, I ain't. This is just the job of work we took on for the time being. Uh. And the job of work you're finishing right now. Yo, that's the idea of roping me off my horse. Stay still and don't try no funny work with them guns of yours. Not that you could do much with your arms roped to your side. <laughs> eh, your horse didn't stick around much, did he? Fix him to kill me, Joe. Was that Lane's orders? You talk too much. Yeah, one more hitch of the rope. <laughs> you got dust in your face now, but just wait. You'll be eating it before the night's over. Uh, what's going to do with me? Nothing. Just nothing at all. Except leave you here. The cows will do the rest when they stampede. Oh, you dirty rat bait. I'll hurt. And I'm putting a gag in your mouth now like this, see? <laughs> now, another hitch around this scrub mesquite here. <laughs> you can't squirm loose now. You can't talk. Can't move. But you got a grandstand seat for the entertainment. <laughs> you sure have. Now I'm going to go catch that horse of yours. 
He's gonna be my horse from now on. Whitey, seeing nothing suspicious, has started back, hoping to meet Lightning Jim. Suddenly, he hears the sound of galloping hoofs. Hey, Gally, it's thunder. Oh, sure, it is thunder. Something's happened to Lightning. That you, three? Hang on to that critter for me. I've been chasing him down for the last half hour. Hang on to him. Hey, I thought you were asleep. What you doing with my partner? Talk fast, mister. Why, uh, I don't know nothing about your partner. Ain't seen him tonight. You saw the horse running away and that I followed him. never would have thrown him off. You done something with my partner. Don't come no closer. I'll shoot. What did you do with my partner? You asked for it. Ah, my shoulder. You got me in the shoulder. No, tell me what you done to him. Don't shoot. Don't. I, I got him tied up. He ain't hurt much. He's just tied up so he couldn't interfere. You over there. Back, back there a piece. Not far. I'll oh, show you. So what you do that to him for? You must up to something. That's what. The, no, boys, it. the boys are going to start a stampede. All the cattle are going over the cliff at Deer Canyon. And there you got them tied up. Right in the path of the stampede. All right, get going. What you, what you going to do? I'm going to try to stop that stampede. And you are going right along with me. And if we can't stop it, you go on with me. No, no, I, I won't go. We'll get killed. No, you get going. I put the bullet through your head the first fun the move you make. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the chuck wagon, Zeke and Stumpy have become alarmed. I tell you, something's brewing. Something's in the air. Well, I never know the men not to come in to eat before. Now, what you doing, Zeke? What in the Sam Hill you doing now? I'm getting these mules hitched, consign them. It stands still, you four-legged son of Satan. Ain't you never been hitched before? Well, what you doing that for, Jake? Well, you and me can't do no good on horseback, Stumpy. I feel a heap safer with the mules hitched to the chuck wagon. And then we can both move if we have to. Yeah, maybe right. Hey, hey listen. Did you hear that shooting? Yes, I hear it. Well, I swear, it's the herd. They're stampeding. If they go north, they'll go plumb off the cliff. And get on, Stumpy. Hurry up. Grab that lantern. You drive, Zeke. I'll get the Winchesters from the back. Now, get going. I got the lantern. Get going, you rat tail cakes of dynamite. Hang on, Stumpy. Be careful to your rheumatism, Zeke. Don't get your dander up. <laughs> Somebody coming over to the left there. Two or three horses. Hit, hang that lantern over the side and get up your Winchester. Yes, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let them have it if they try to stop it. There ain't nothing wrong with my shooting arm. But you're driving there, you walleye goose. You nearly turned us over that time. Well, the dang mule tied it up. Get going there, I'll cut you in ribbons. Slow down, stop it. I've seen a man lying there. Hold on. Hold there, hold there, hold there, hold Give me a hand here, see? It's lightning. Lightning? Yes. Is, is he dead? Lightning. Lightning, you there, Lightning. Yeah, yeah, he's here. He's all tied up. We'll cut the roof. Hey, who's that with you, Whitey? Yes, down there, you. And if lightning ain't all right, start saying your prayers. Uh, that's you, Whitey. You're lightning, and I got your hair. I'm saving him for you. Don't stand there, Gavin. Listen to that herd. How are we going to turn those critters? We've got to get out of here. We've got to get see, out of see, here. I got an idea. Get those mules and hit. Hurry up. What's going to do, buddy? Hurry up with them mules. Don't be. Hey, you got cold oil in the shock bag and... Sure, sure, I'll get Hurry it. Hurry up now. Give me your right hand. I brought him along. Hey, me and you have the right on it. Can't turn it. Let me a hand with these mules. Here's coal oil. Now what? Throw the coal oil down the shock bag. Make it all of it. Throw Set it. fire to it. And roll it down this hill in front of the house. Here, yeah, I get it. Give me that can. There they are. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry up now. Hurry, come. Thunder. Come on, boy. Coal oil is splashed all over the wagon. Just throw a match on it and give it a good push. Go ahead. There she goes. Give it a now. Start firing, Paddy. That's all right. Give me a good effort. Keep firing. Keep firing. That goes away. Why does the leader? The leader turned it. He's turning to the side. After him. After him. Keep him turning. Don't let him stop, boys. Don't let him stop. Help him. Help him. Stop these lines. Why did you go, boys? I did 
With the stampede turned and Joe confessing everything, the other cowhands fell into line and helped round up the cattle. Four days later, the herd is driven into Ford City. Well, reckon me and Whitey ain't no more used to you, Zeke. Cows are sure safe now. Yeah, well, I'll put Joe in jail. I get confessions enough to put Lane behind bars for the rest of his life. Soon as I can get the sheriff. Well, I gotta get me a new chuck wagon. Mm, painted red. Uh, listen, uh, you two need any money? Uh, no, uh, they was just doing this to help out. Well, then, you better be on your way for the law sees you. That not, might not be so good. The law? Uh, what do you mean, the law? You think I don't know my boy Charlie is a hold-up man? I, you know about that? Uh, sure. I ain't proud of it. I told him a long time ago to take his grinning face and his dishonest money out of my sight. I wouldn't touch a penny of his as long as I live. But when Zeke needed help again, Lane, he nearly had to send for Charlie. Well, I, I ain't never asked no questions about you two fellas. But if you're friends with Charlie's, you're bound to be crooks. So you better get out of town before the law catches up with well, you. Well, but, but, but we ain't, Eddie. You got this all wrong, Zeke. I reckon he's right, Whitey. Me and you better get going. We did sort of step out of our regular trail to come down there, here, There you know. comes the sheriff now. You see? He, he's coming right down the street, right toward us. Now get going, you two. I'll hold him off as he starts shooting at you. Thank God. It's only what's been. The trailer's all the time. <laughs> Joke's on us, all right. Well, feel any better about Prince Charlie now, buddy? I don't know, Lightning. I got myself a feeling I ain't through with that fella yet. <laughs> Which concludes another episode in the thrilling adventures of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.